What's good, Boxer World BFV? Back to hit you with another one, too. Shout out to the team, G5 Jeff TV, VP Shane. Uh, you saw the thumbnail. The topic is the chase for 51. Big shout out to Zan for putting this post up. Uh, giving those with a uh, inquiring boxing mind something to talk about, share with the boxing world. Uh, let's see. Who do you think on this list can do it? I mean, it'll be a great accomplishment. In in itself, regardless on really what what names are stacked on your record, I guess, because, you know, 51 victories against Joe Schmo is still hard to achieve. So just big respect to all fighters that have been in that realm, been in that conversation in the past, but haven't really got the uh the shine the way they may have deserved or 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 just being spoke about. So but we we got a list in front of us that we know all these guys. These guys are headliners in their own right. Bunch of these or a few of these guys at least are truly, truly marquee guys. Tank Davis, Crawford, Charlo in my estimation, and obviously Benavidez coming on strong. But I, I don't know if one of these dudes can do it. I mean, Zerto's on the fast track, but if you really look at Zerto's resume, it is nowhere able to be compared to Floyd Mayweather and kind of being in that 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 bracket for this era, you know, because it's basically what it's about is who will be the Floyd Mayweather of this era. And Dezan is giving us some names, and I mean – it may be a, a late possibility for a guy like Munguia because he's in that 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 two weight realm where you can actually probably get thirteen fights and get thirteen victories between one sixty one sixty eight because you got to look at where the stage that he's on with the Zen you get a lot of European names in there get, get easy get six to seven known guys I guess or guys that's recognizable. But, I mean, to me, and then Zerto, obviously, being close at 43, that's only eight more fights, and he's still young, 30, Jaime, 25, possibility. But if you look at their resumes and, and and look at the guys that they're fighting, none of these guys really are supposed to beat them. If you look at Floyd's situation, there were a lot of guys lined up against Floyd that people thought could beat Floyd, Sugar Shane, uh, um, uh, the tall boy that passed away. Uh, it's not a uh, name. So my, uh, uh, Diego Corrales. I'm, I apologize because you know this video damn near live. So this is right off the dome. So, but like I say, I apologize that his name slipped my mind for a second. But Diego Corrales was supposed to beat Floyd. So you know what I mean. Zab Judah. People really thought Zab had a chance to beat Floyd. So there's a lot of names on Floyd's resume that he beat to become 50 and 0 and if you look at these guys I mean they haven't really been lined up against the who's who again you can start matching these guys up there are names across the board that they can start seeing to get back to uh get in that limelight and start really padding their resume as they get close to this 51 and 0 record but I I really don't see it happening and if it does happen it definitely won't be comparable to what Floyd Mayweather did. So that's just my one, too. Y'all guys tell me what y'all think in the comments section. Just Boxer First Vlog trying to attack Boxer from different angles and bring up different conversations as we sort of having a slow week. But uh, as the week starts uh, getting deep into it, you know, we're going to be active, giving you some preview videos and things like that. But just uh, like I said, just chiming in on this particular uh, post I saw from Dizan. Like I said, y'all tell me what y'all think in the comment section. Hit that like, subscribe. And as always, we appreciate the support. Boxing First Vlog, I'm gone.